White. My name is Corey. And my name is Adam. We've got birds all over the place. Now, birds have been inspiring people here for over 20 years. The birds here pretty much every single day since the park opened. Yeah, and this is our favorite part of every day. We get to come out here and show off some of the amazing birds that we work with, like Harvey, the trucker hornbill. Yes, trucker hornbills like this, they live in the forests of Africa. Very fast, very beautiful birds. They live in that thick canopy of trees, they dive in and around all those tree limbs without losing speed, kind of like those pigeons there. Yeah, and uh, instead of talking about it, we should just show them, right? I'll go to the back. Well, we yeah, there and sell pigeons. Oh, but what? the weaving stuff, right? Oh, you want to bring Harvey closer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think we can do that. We need a couple volunteers. We need two people from the same party who want to work together and be trees. How about in the white shirt and the green shirt that's being volatile? Yeah, so instead of rubbing our hands, we're going to space each other. We're just going to work together to make a big group like this. You're going to be the branches of the trees. Maybe everyone else got the idea and they're moving out of the way. Yeah, the rest of you are going to get a nice close look. Hi, Harvey. What do you think? Let's see if we can show off some of this maneuverability. See that in the back? Perfect. Take two? Yeah, Harvey, you want to try that again? Are you, are you looking out at something? I have no idea if he's looking out at something. Right over here. I'll be the starting tree. Hey, Corey. Hi, Harvey. Good idea. Remember me, we work together. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Maybe we should train them before we bring them out, right? That's a very good point. All right, here, let's turn over here. We're going to try this again. That was a nice short flight. You're going to have to put a little more effort. And Adam is in the back. There we go. All right. Excellent job. Thank you so much. That's great. And you know what? That shows some of that really very important. It's not just to get around all the tree limbs, uh, but also at the same time, they might be chasing down some of their favorite food, like flying insects. They catch them right out of the air. Right out of the air. And right here in the bushes, we have a fun way to show that off. Who knows what this is? Shout out. Rocket launcher! That's right. Okay, but here at the stage, it turns out that the term for hormones don't like the rockets. Yeah, they don't taste good. Uh, but they love grapes, and it just so happens that a grape will fit in the launcher. It's a very scientific process. It's nice and easily in the launcher. We got it. Um, and uh, we need someone to send this up into the space, right? We need a rocketeer in the blue shirt. You want to give me a hand? You were so excited. Yes, you. Yeah, let's give her a round of applause for helping us out today. Yeah, all right, right here in the middle, and what's your name, my friend? Sophia, nice to meet you, I'm Adam. Uh, have you ever used one of these, Sophia? Okay, perfect, all right, so, great big set of rocket, still got the launch pad, right? So if you stop on it, you should set it up in the air. All right, and the other part is, we'll count her down from three when we get to one, that's when you'll come in, stop as hard as you can, make sure to look up too, because these birds are really fast, all right? Okay, Sophia. Here we are. We have your launch pad set. Check and check. Corey's ready up there with Harvey. Oh. Yeah, let's give her that countdown for three, folks. Three, two, one. Here it is. Yeah. Excellent job, Sophia. High five. Thank you so much for your call today. I appreciate it. Let's give her another round of applause for helping us out this morning. Pretty surprised. Now, yeah, Harvey, you did a very good job. Thank you so much, Sophia. Got another tree for you, and then you remember where you're going, don't you? Yep. So I'll lay in the window. Yeah, that one right there. Left. Not left. Harvey, our truck better park now. You know, those are the hormones pretty smart birds. If you want to get to the top of the intelligence scale, you have to look at the crows and the ravens. The smartest birds in the world, in fact, we have a little pie crow, and truly, he's definitely going to show on that off. For sure. And to, uh, to involve all of you, we need the help of another volunteer. Uh, but this time we need an adult with a dollar bill. Yeah, it's a really weird request. Uh, how about in the brown shirt over here? Oh, it looks like you guys are celebrating something today. What was it? Engage! Congratulations! Wow! Okay, all right. You, you want to give us a hand. And if you're digging, find some tents. They work just as well. Yeah, and it's because, it's an important point, uh, the dollar, it represents like a little flag for our friend right here, right? So he'll know exactly where we want to go. So if you hold, wow, that was a tough landing. Uh, if you hold your arm out to the side with that dollar, perfect. 
hopefully our friend will know exactly where to go. Cool thing, we can bring this anywhere in the park. That dollar, it's like a little flag for him, right? He knows exactly where to land. So cool. And yeah, we do take the money, I forgot. Yeah. And um, for, for safekeeping, we also... Oh, you almost got it here. We can give you a hug. All right, let's try it again. We've been working on this work. There it is. Right in the meat pocket. Uh, and uh, have a magical day. Yeah. Congratulations. That's so cool. Uh, did anybody else have uh, an engagement and also have ten dollars who want to see what the crow does? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, don't worry, buddy. You save that for the candy for later, all right? <laughs> and wow, we're just playing around. We're gonna bring the money back. Hopefully, you don't get buzzed like I do all the time. All you have to do is just put your arm out like so. Perfect. And whenever it lands on that same arm, fingertips just wrap it around your dollars and just blow it. All right, here we go. We are so ready. Yes. Scanning. We're scanning. Here's our trail. Yes. You see it? There it is. Okay, now you see where to go. Perfect. And there it is. Wow. Thank you so much. And congratulations to the team. Yeah. yeah. That was great. You don't see that every day. Yeah. Money back in the party. No. That's a good point. So you did a great job. Oh, we have some visitors. Oh, I was making noise. Yeah, just so look up with your mouth open. It'll be fine. Yeah. This part of our show is an owl. Do you want to see an owl fly? Yeah. 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 It's going to be like this owl fly all around the field. Good time out of the field. Very little light offering here. Those are chickens, though. I don't know. Yeah, chickens and owls, that's not a good mix. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a good idea for them to make. Do you all know what the circle of life is? Yeah, if you don't, you can go off to the Lion King in one second and figure this out for you. And then we'll fly the owl. Right, right okay. We'll just get the weight on the owl a little bit, but eventually we're going to do an owl. Yeah, his name's Ollie. He's a Milky Eagle Owl. And he's a little flyer. Well, here's the thing. He's going to do another flight like that across the year. Listen closely, fly. Owls are very quiet, uh, almost silent when they fly. Up on the right, and also hopefully in that center, that makes good work, so then we'll have those cameras ready to go. Alright, what do you think, Ali? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so good, and I should have mentioned this earlier for over here. If you duck, you fly slower. Don't worry too much about that. But, Ali, if you're a very quiet flight, um, and they also have really good camouflage, you see the lights of that stuff incredible. Owls are so hunters! So they can sneak up really well with the prey. Good job, but yeah, they also have really big eyes to be able to see during the nighttime. It's the best area in the animal world. Such successful hunters. I love showing them off. And you did a great job. Ollie, you remember where you're headed? No, you're staring. You're staring at people wearing mouse ears. That's a great choice for the bird show. Okay, you know right where you're going. Ollie, our milky eagle owl. All right. Okay. Got, uh, yeah, I got I got all the chickens squared away, so we're ready for the owl. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, just a little owl. You almost caught the tail end. Yeah, I like it. Um, all right, well, did you all get to learn some cool stuff about owls too? Yeah, we yeah. talked a lot about how they hunt, which is which is really important and beneficial for us too. See, an owl that size can eat over a thousand mice. Single year. Think about that. Yeah, it's incredible. And it came in super handy around these parts a couple months ago. We had a terrible rat problem. It was yeah, it's just not a cup for us. Yeah, but I don't have a closer. Yeah, it was really bad. It was kind of the same way. Yeah, but here's the thing. I was thinking about some of Yeah, it's definitely safe to say the rat problem behind this now. You got a knee slap? It's not a good one, man. No. Yeah. But we do it. Um, okay, when I was backstage, Corey saw we had a couple birds on the training list. We're always having to train birds, right? Yeah, we're going to work for birds. It's weird. Uh, I thought it would be really cool. Do you want to see a training session? Yeah? Okay. All right. So my thought is, Luca is an amazing little raven, super, super smart little bird. He's been doing a spin on the rock. Think you can talk about like the science of behavior change? Well, easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Luca being very good at finding uh, goldfish out in the audience. Yeah, and 
Jordan, what is it? Jordan, nice to meet you. 
when I was looking at the training board, it said we were going to do this for the first time. And all of that was the flood and the back was a little more comfortable. Yeah, but the training sessions have been going well, so the sessions are not ready for this yet. Yeah, but hang on, everybody's been supportive of you all. Can we give it a try? Yeah, come on. Come on. You, you got treats? That was it? Yes, I got it. You got treats? Alright. Alright, okay, it's okay. Because what we're getting at here is that we're ready to get four still. explain that it hasn't been going that well out here, but you've been working on your relationship. That didn't work either though. Uh, okay. Uh, Brittany. Brittany. Hi, Brittany. She, she's our friend and co-worker. Hey. It, oh, it is here. Yeah, we got the little present for you right here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we got a new present. It's a team that should help out with this. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it's pulled out. Yeah. What we're getting at here is because from Grace gets the name because of the feathers right on top of the head. So we thought we could just make four of on Chronicle of Feathers. I think they're applauding because they would, yeah. Yeah. It speaks for itself, Corey. Yeah. It's not signing a lot. Well, hang on. Because think about it. Whenever he looks up, he's not going to miss you this time, right? And he, he wasn't looking, so now we'll be able to do this, and if you can just give him the, the information, like a prompt, right? That's like when we call the animal, we give him some info to know what they need to do next. So, whenever he's done up there, then it's all you, right? Yeah, one more time, and then you're just going to take him. Especially for our better friends. 
We'd like to give you a one last wish. May your hearts take light and your spirits soar forever. Namaste. Namaste.